Crerand. Reed in the way. This is Styles. Hardly need to identify this gentleman. Oh! Sidetic. Pat Crerand. This is a City lineup badly in need of a, a Francis Lee. Dennis Stewart's left the field for a moment. Mickey Horswell, number five, is the uh, City substitute. Best fighting Crerin now, and just the moment for the first goal. They'd love it to be Bestie. Crerin, not by Tony Bull. Brian Kidd, and he's got George Best ahead of him. Is that a roar of anticipation? Oh! They'd have loved that to have gone in. It was just set up from the way that he cuts inside the defender. How many times have we seen that sort of thing here? Just couldn't quite find the target. That's what we want to see. You never lose it. You never lose it. Brian Kidd. Deflected behind for a corner. Little bubble of expectation. And it rises to a roar as best threats Kidd. Around Williams this time. Just run out of grass. Being possession back. And Creran finding Kidd. Now where's Best? He's just looking around for him. George trying to find a good position. He's found one and he's found it. It's almost certainly the last time that he'll play football at Old Trafford. And if this is to be the grand farewell from George Best. It's now been marked by a goal. Best has kept it in. Pat Creran. George, it was just four months past his 17th birthday when uh, Samat gave him his debut back in 1963. David Sandler has benefited from the best skills to put United in front beautifully set up by Best and David Sadler hammered it past Alex Williams That's the way it finishes it's maybe the end of the line for the memories that George Best and company have served up here at Old Trafford this famous ground still belongs to him